versus Monday versus Basecamp versus ClickUp. Which is the best project management software in 2021? Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a comparison between all four of these project management softwares and I'm going to give you the pros and cons of all of these. I'm going to suggest which kind of project management software you should use according to your needs. So let's get into it. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to compare the pricing on all four of these. Now, Trello has four versions you can opt for. First is the free one. The free one has the limitations of 10 boards per workspace. And however, you get unlimited members. So if you're a large team looking to opt for a free project management software, I definitely think Trello would be a good suitable option. Trello also gives you a unlimited storage that is limited to 10 megabytes per file. So as long as you're uploading 10 MB files, you can upload as many as you want. You also get custom background stickers and all other basic features are included in the free version of Trello. Now on the versions of Trello, the $5 version gives you unlimited boards, it gives you advanced checklists, it also gives you unlimited storage of up to 250 megabytes per file, and a thousand workspace command that runs per month. You also get single board guests, and this is a very important feature if you have a client or a manager that needs to have a dashboard uh, just for viewing and just to get an overview of the work. Uh, this is a very important feature in that regard, and this is only available on their standard version, so you're not going to get that on free. So you can't add any um, view-only guests on Trello if you're using the free version. Moving on to their premium version, they have a 10 USD per month version that is best for teams that are larger because they give dashboard views, timeline views, they give you workspace table views, calendar views, map views, and the general card system on Trello is a bit different than the view system, so that is something to keep in mind when using Trello. You also get workspace level templates, you get security features and many other commands, observers, collections, Google Apps, sign-ons, and priority support, saved searches, and uh, exporting is also available on their premium version. Now, in comparison to monday.com, which has a very big limitation of two members per team if you're using the free version. So that usually makes monday.com my least preferred project management software because it has such a large limitation on just the starting off point. You can only add two members and that really does limit the amount of work you can do on the free version now in terms of most popular version that is the standard version that is ten dollars per person per month that allows you with a lot more people you can add as many as you want you get calendar views timeline views automations integrations and dashboards that combine uh, several different boards all together so it's pretty similar to the ten dollar version on trello i think they provide almost the same level of uh, integrations and automations and generally the same features as each other on their $10 versions. Now, moving on, we have ClickUp. So ClickUp is a lot more simple because they have two paid versions and the $9 business one is what we're going to compare to the pricier versions of, of Monday and Trello. ClickUp, I think, has the most amount of features. You can see almost every feature other than white labeling and Tableau web connector and some support features are not available on Trello and some uh, detailed security features. Other than that, all of the customization features are available on the Trello $9 version. And you also have the free version on Trello, which provides you with unlimited tasks, five spaces, unlimited views. So that is something that monday.com and Trello both cannot do and ClickUp does it. They give you so many different kinds of views for the free version as well. You also get a 100 megabyte storage file for each person. The next software I'm going to suggest is actually what I would suggest for especially larger teams. If you are a very large team and not everyone is going to want to pay $25 or $30 per month and just use a software, it's going to be uh, a lot pricier if you're a larger company. Let's calculate that. I think Let's say if you are running a business that has maybe 5,000 or 5,000 might be a bit too much. Uh, maybe you have 200 employees and 225 costs up to $5,000 for a project management tool. And they're priced at the same rate. So if you were to buy their enterprise versions, or maybe let's just say if you were to buy the pro version of monday.com for your entire company, that would cost you $3,200 each month. So that is a lot of money. Now, 
If you want to save up some of your money, I would suggest you go with Basecamp. Now, Basecamp has two versions. First is their limited but free version, and it allows you to create three projects, have 20 users, and it gives you one gigabyte of storage space. But their premium version or their business version, which I truly do love, is the $99 per month flat fee, and you can add as many people as you want. So that's a very stark comparison. If you're using Monday, ClickUp, or Trello, you're going to be paying upwards of $2,000 for your business. But if you're using Basecamp, you can just optimize your workflow and manage all of your work within this platform uh, using just a hundred dollars a month so that is something to keep into consideration because you don't want to opt for a program that is way out of your price league that is not going to be optimizable later on you're not going to be uh, comfortable paying that amount each month it might result in some friction within your company as well because not everyone is going to want to pay for a project management software out of their own pockets now now moving on to the working space on all four of these project management softwares you can see this is Trello. So this is your boards view on Trello and if I was to open one of these boards like so you can see this is just the basic board. A feature that is not present on the other three project management software is actually stickers. So you can see these cute little stickers I have added. These are not present in, in any of the other uh, softwares and it's a cute feature it's not really it doesn't really serve a uh, exclusive purpose but it's something that is uh, interesting to use and interesting to have now generally speaking trello is very similar to monday.com and clickup so i'm just going to show you guys all of these together and then i'm going to show you guys basecamp and how it functions a bit differently now you can see on uh, on monday.com over here we have a main table we can add a board view and i'm going to show you the board view on all of these to further elaborate my point on how all of these um, project management softwares do look pretty similar in terms of general looks and functionalities. Now you can see this is a, I'm going to open a board view on my daily schedule over here as well. Actually I'll make it a marketing one so it's a bit more filled out so you guys can actually see what it's going to look like so if a kanban view or a board view looks like this on trello you can move tags like so if i move it like this i can click on a tag and i get all the details for it just like that if i go to monday.com you can see i have a kanban view and i can select how i want this to be categorized so i can categorize it by status or by the day of the week and i can just click on any of the tasks present and get all of the details and change any details that i would like and also on clickup you can see over here oh this is a list this is a board view and this is empty right now, relatively empty. And this is how I have different columns and I can move my tasks like so. And if I want the details on any task, I'm just gonna click on the task. And here I have all of my details for the task. I can add notes, attachments. Uh, I can create subtasks, assign it to someone else and move it also, add watchers, add uh, due dates and whatnot. So in terms of general usability, ClickUp, Monday and Trello are pretty much alike. Now, the different one is Basecamp and on Basecamp, you can see over here, you have to create a separate document for each of your purposes. So if you want to create a task list, you're going to create a to-do list. If you want to create a, a messaging board, you're going to create that separately and everything is going to be separated into different uh, categories. So let's just say if you want to create, create a team, you're going to create a team in this and you're going to name your team. So if it's a marketing team, you can name it marketing. If it's a sales team, you can name it sales. And then if, you, if you're working on a project, then you're going to add a project to the this section so your teams and projects are going to be very simple and within your project you're going to have different message boards to do's docs and files camp campfire is basically like a uh, free time chat then you have a scheduling and automatic check-ins platform or workspace on uh, basecamp is a lot more detailed uh, as compared to Monday, ClickUp or Trello. But I think if you're working on long-term projects and you have a set team that you work with all the time, I think Basecamp is actually a lot more useful because with this uh, categorization, you can easily look at tasks, you can look at scheduling, docs and files, check-ins uh, without having to navigate through you know, everything and getting the details for everything that exists on the workspace. So you're not going to feel a bit overwhelmed within the Basecamp platform. 
Now, if we were to look at teams, we can see over here, if you are working it with a specific team on a specific project, you can set up your team over here. And within the team, you're going to have the same template as your project. So you don't have to constantly be in touch with your project people. You can just create a project and add them over there. And for people that you work with constantly, you can create a team with. And that is something that is pretty helpful in terms of general organization. And you won't have to add people to your workspace and then later on remove them. So if someone is a contractor that is working with you on a certain project, you're going to add them on Trello, ClickUp or Monday.com. And then when their contract ends, you're going to remove them. But in a situation where you're using Basecamp, you could simply just add them to your project and you won't have to worry about them having full access to the data that is present on your teams. In general, to wrap this up, I would suggest using Basecamp if you're a larger business, if you have a lot more people. After that, I think ClickUp, Monday, and Trello are pretty similar. Monday has a limitation of two team members, so I wouldn't suggest using Monday. Then it leaves you with ClickUp or Trello. So generally, both of them are good. I find the ClickUp platform a bit more uh, visually appealing, so I use that. But you can also use Trello. And if you're a medium to small business, I would suggest you check out any of these two. And if you're a larger business, you should definitely check out Basecamp. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I will catch you guys in the next video.